what's going on guys welcome back to the another tutorial and today we are going to create this awesome image pop out effect using html and css i had explained each and every step in this tutorial and i will make sure that after watching this tutorial you will be able to create this effect from scratch at your own and if you are completely new to this channel let me tell you that i regularly upload awesome tutorials related to web development on this channel so i will much recommend you to check out my other videos and also subscribe the channel so whenever i will upload a new tutorial you can get a notification let's start creating the image pop out effect so i had opened the output here and let's see how to write html for it so first of all i will create a wrapper element that will contain all these three elements so first of all i will create a wrapper element and i will use div tag for that and i will give it a class of wrapper and inside it i will include these three elements so these elements are basically one single container that is containing a image okay so this element is nothing but a container that is containing an image so let's quickly create this element so i will again use a div tag and i will give it a class of image container or you can say img container and inside that as we saw we need an image so i will include the image using the img tag and for the source let me copy and paste the image link and this is the picture of kobe so i will write an alternative text and i will write kobe here so i have included the image and we have created this image container now similarly i will create two more image container so i will just copy and paste this image container two more times and let's change the images okay so i will include the ronaldo image so i do have the source link let me copy and paste it here and in the alternative text i will write ronaldo and the last image is of ms dhoni so let me copy and paste the link and in the alternative text i will write dhoni so that's it for the html part we have included the images and we have written the alternative text in the alt attribute okay so you can see we got all three images and now let's start creating the image pop out effect using css so i will start with styling the body tag and i will give it a background color of 131313 and i will remove the default margin given by the browser so i will reset the margin to 0 and now before styling any else elements let's scale down the images so what i will do is i will give a width and height to our image container so i will target the image container and i will give it a width of 250 pixel and a height of 350 pixel let's also give it a border so that you can see it properly and now i will define a height on our images so i will target the image inside the image container and i want the height to be 90% okay so initially the height of the images is 90% and when i am hovering on the image container the images are scaling so we had defined the height of 90% initially on the image and we will create that scaling effect later now let's align our image containers in one row so we will have to use display flags on the parent element of these image containers so the parent element is basically the wrapper element as you can see so we will have to define display flags on the wrapper element so i will target the wrapper element and i will write display flags here now you can see the image containers are in one row let's also center the wrapper element within the body element so i will use flex method to center the wrapper within our body element but before using the flex method i will give a height of 100 vh to our body element and now i will use the flex method to center our wrapper within the body element 
so i will write display flags and justify content center to align our wrapper horizontally center and i will also use align items center to align our wrapper vertically center and now you can see the wrapper element is in the center of our body element now let's position the image element inside the image container so first of all i will horizontally center the image inside image container so i will use display flags on image container and i will write justify content center to align our image horizontally center and now i want to position the image at the bottom of our image container so i will write position absolute on the image element and i will write position relative on the image container element and i want the image to be at bottom so i will write bottom zero here so we had position the images now let's give some more styles to our image container so i will use the filter property to create a gray scale effect and i will write gray scale function and i will pass 100% to it because here initially you can see the image container is in gray scale and now i also want to give it a background color of 363636 just to match the gray scale colors now let's also create some spacing in between of our image containers so what you can do is you can give margin right to first and second image container or you can also use the gap property to create the spacing between the image containers so i will give a spacing of 60 pixel and now you can see we got some spacing in between of our image containers so we are done with the styling of our image container and image elements now let's start creating the hover effects so let's see what is happening when we are hovering the image container so there are two things happening simultaneously the very first thing is the background color of the image container is changing and the second thing is our image is scaling so let's quickly create those two effects so first of all i will create the scaling of our image when we will hover on our image container so when we will hover on our image container we have to scale the image so we will scale it using the transform property so i will write transform here and i will use scale function and i will scale our image by 1.4 times so you can see when i will hover on our image container the image is scaling but we got a problem here and that is transform origin so transform origin is basically the point from where the transformation starts so in our case the transformation is scaling therefore the transform origin will be the point from where the scaling starts let me show you an example let's say if i define a transform origin at 0 from the x axis and 50% from the y axis then the scaling will start from 0 from the x axis and 50% from the y axis that is somewhere here and you can see the scaling is starting from this point now let's see one more example so let's say i define the transform origin at 50% from the x and 0 from y so 50% from x and 0 from y is somewhere here so you can see the scaling is now starting from this point so transform origin is basically the point from where the transformation starts the default value of transform origin is 50% and 50% or you can also say center okay so you can also use keywords like bottom center top left top center bottom right etc etc so the default value of transform origin is center so you can see the scaling starts from the center and for our effect i want the transform origin to be at bottom so i will define the transform origin at bottom and we don't need it here we need it here 
and now you can see we got our effect let's also add transition property so that we can have a smooth transition so i will write transition and we are changing the transform property so i will write transform here and i want the transition duration to be 0.3 seconds and now you can see the hover effect of our image is completed now the only thing is left to change the background color of image container and also removing the gray scale so let's quickly create that so when the image container will be in hover state we want to remove the gray scale so i will pass 0 in the gray scale function and now you can see when i am hovering the gray scale is getting removed let's also change the background color of our image containers but we want different background color on each of our image container so what i will do is i will target them separately so first i will target the first image container using the first child pseudo class and i want to target the first image container in hover state and i want the background color of my first image container to be f6b911 so this selector here will basically select the first image container in hover state okay so we are selecting the first image container in hover state and we are changing its background color so you can see the background color is changing when we are hovering on our image container now let's also change the color of our second image container and third image container so i will target the second image container using the nth child pseudo class and i will pass 2 inside it and the background color i want in second image container is b0 b1 b4 and now you can see when i will hover on our second image container the background color is changing let's also define the background color on our third image container so you can either write three here such that in the nth child pseudo class or you can use last child pseudo class also because the third image container is also the last child of wrapper element and the background color of the third image container that i want is 355 cb1 and now you can see when i will hover on the image containers their background color is changing let's also add a transition property on our image container so i will write transition property here and i want to apply the transition on all the properties and i want the transition duration to be 0.3 seconds let's remove the border and let's see what we got when we will hover on the image containers so you can see we have successfully created the image pop out effect and it is looking amazing so this was it guys for this tutorial and look how easy it was to create this awesome looking effect and i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and understood every single step but still if you have any doubts related to any step just feel free to comment your doubts below and if you guys like this tutorial make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe this channel because i regularly upload awesome tutorials on this channel and before ending this video i want to tell you guys that this youtube channel is in collaboration with an amazing platform known as newton school you can check out their website the link is in description and also let's understand a bit about what exactly is newton school let's see about what is newton school so newton school is a platform which prepares you for your career in tech it has courses designed for working professionals freshers and even people with no tech background that means even if you are from a non tech background you can also join this platform and can make your career in tech newton school will first train you for 6 months and will help you become an amazing full stack developer now you might be thinking whether this platform is free or not so let me tell you a cool thing that you don't have to pay newton school anything until and unless you are pledged with a minimum 5 lakh ctc 
i repeat guys you don't have to pay newton school anything for the 6 months full stack developer training until and unless you are placed with a minimum 5 lakh ctc and i think this is something that all of us should expect from any training program so must check out their website for more information i will provide the link in description now on their website you can see they have something called the launchpad so launchpad is basically an initiative taken by newton school for people who want to start their coding journey from scratch and that too absolutely free of cost this video of mine will be also available on the launchpad section you can go there anytime and you can learn basics of programming languages you can practice quizzes and even you can do assignments this all things are completely free to do and now i will see you guys in the next tutorial